Hey everyone, Mosaic ML just released a novel open source model that demonstrates remarkable performance and exceeds the original GPT-3. And what's incredible about this model is that it's open source with commercial usage allowed, plus it fits on a consumer grade GPU. They have published a pretty detailed blog in their site. We will go through that blog to check out the key information of this model, how they are trained and what is the evaluation metric they used, etc and also check out the hugging face model uh, that they have published but before going ahead the some of the key points of these models let's uh, go through them quickly so the context window on which this model is trained is 8k 8000 tokens unlike gpt3 or turbo 3.5 which are around uh, 2k to 4000 tokens and also the mpt supports longer context via alibi we will go to we'll discuss this particular technology in a while and the model works well using an 8k window on nvidia h100 for inference it can be deployed on one nvidia a 80 gb in 16 bit precision and it can be deployed on one nvidia a 40 gb gpu in 8 bit precision and this is the blog that is published on mosaic ml blog site and uh, surprisingly, this blog is super detailed uh, uh, compared to other recent publication of uh, LLM related blogs. So let's go through them. And it was published just two days back on June 22 on which they announced um, the model. So today we are excited to expand the Mosaic ML Foundation series with MPT30B, a new open source model licensed for commercial use that is significantly more powerful than MPT7B and outperforms the original GPT-3. In addition, we are releasing two fine-tuned version, MPT-30B Instruct and MPT-30B Chat that are built on top of MPT-30B and Excel at single turn instruction following uh, any following and multi-turn conversions respectively so they say further all mpt30b models come with special features that differentiate them from other llms including an 8k token context window at training time support for even longer context via alibi and efficient inference plus training performance via flash attention so let's quickly discuss uh, what this alibi is so Alibi stands for Attention with Linear Bias. This paper was introduced last year, which takes a look at the position encoding method from the attention paper and suggest an alternative method that allows you to train on shorter context length and later during inference extrapolate to much, much longer length. And uh, so basically, uh, since the introduction of transformer model in 2017, a fundamental question has been that how does a model achieve extrapolation at inference time for sequence that are longer than it saw during the training? The Alibi paper first shows that extrapolation can be enabled by simply changing the position representation method. So transformers by default use uh, sinusoidal positional encodings and have the ability to extrapolate sequence length during inference without performance issues up to a certain point. But this limit is considerably low and performance starts degrading after L plus 50 token. Alibi overcomes this by replacing sinusoidal positional encoding with a method that penalizes attention scores between the distant query and key pairs using a static non-learned bias. This means that the importance of tokens reduces as they move further in the context window. So this paper shows that uh, this method of Alibi trains a 1.3 billion parameter model on input sequence of length 1024 that extrapolates to input sequence of length 2048 achieving the same perplexity as a sinusoidal position embedding model trained on inputs of length 2048 but training 11% faster and using 11% less memory. The paper had showcased that this technique uh, being able to work with up to maximum 15 times the original training length 
So if you are training on 2048 token length, you can at the extreme situation increase during the inference time your context window by 15 times that massive. Now, this gave rise to the misconception actually in the market, in the community that uh, uh, Mosaic MLs, this new large language model is pre-trained on context length of up to 64,000 tokens. But what actually the reality is that Mosaic ML have cleverly used the alibi method to extrapolate context length during inference. And that's exactly what the blog is talking about right here that um, support for even longer context via alibi and efficient inference. Uh, all right, so the size of MPT330B was also specifically chosen to make it easy to deploy on a single GPU, either one 180 GB in 16 bit precision or one 840 GB in 8 bit precision. Other comparable large language models, such as Falcon 40B, have larger parameter counts and cannot be served on a single data center GPU as of now. And remember, Mosaic ML has a great platform. So they are giving various details that if you do uh, Mosaic ML training or uh, whether for inferencing or for fine tuning, uh, the details are given here. Uh, then Mosaic uh, 30B family, Mosaic pre-trained transformer that is a MPD model, a GPT style decoder only transformers with several improvements, including higher speed, greater stability and longer context length. Thanks to these improvements, customers can train MPD models efficiently with 40 to 60% MFU. So what is these um, MFU? And if you just, um, just go visit this link right here, you will be uh, coming to this uh, GitHub repository. So this uh, LLM, LLM Foundry is the LLM training code for Mosaic ML Foundation models. And here they are talking about these MFU and HFU. So MFU stands for model flops utilization and uh, HFU stands for hardware flops utilization. All right, about the license, the most important part. So MPD30B is commercial Apache 2.0 licensed open source foundation model that exceeds the quality of GPT-3 and the original uh, GPT-3 that is and is competitive with other open source models such as Llama 30B and Falcon 40B. That is great. And um, uh, as mentioned earlier, MPT-30B was trained with a long context window of 8000 tokens uh, versus 2000 for Llama and Falcon. And uh, yeah, so this is what really makes the MPT-30B very, very special. It was actually trained on 8K tokens and now with uh, the Alibi technique, you can extend it up to 64,000 tokens and can handle arbitrarily long context windows. And that's where the Alibi comes into uh, play while you are fine tuning. And to build 8K support for MPT-30B efficiently, we first pre-trained on 1 trillion tokens using sequences that were 2000, long, 2000 tokens long and continued training for an additional 50 billion tokens using sequences that were 8K tokens long. So coming to the actual data used for their um, these 1 trillion token long data set, training data set, uh, here are the details so we can see that uh, the various names of the data set and the proportion in the training so uh, we can see all the popular one for example red pajama common crawl the stock selected language red pajama wikipedia uh, yeah so of course the highest percentage is this one uh, mc4 and the number of tokens from this data set is 2417 billion 2.4 billion tokens uh, all right, let's move on. And then they say, uh, we find that MPT-30B is significantly better at programming, which we credit to its pre-training data mixture, including a substantial amount of codes. Now, that's pretty interesting. And this is the all-important chart comparing uh, MPT-30B with uh, MPT-7B and also Llama and Falcon. So, uh, here we can see that uh, 30B, the red line is a 30B and these gray uh, line or the black one is for the MPT-7B. So for uh, reading comprehension, we can see a significant improvement for 30B and also for programming, 30B is significantly better than 7B. And now comparing with the Llama and Falcon. So on uh, the left side, we can see the comparison uh, between MPT-7B, Falcon-7B and Llama-7B. 
uh, and on the right all the 30b version so let's look at the uh, look at the 30b model here uh, so we can see that uh, MPT 30B, that is a red line, the red square, or the red pentagon right here, is uh, significantly better than um, than your Falcon and Llama on programming task. Uh, especially, we can see that the Falcon is really, really bad uh, with programming task. That is this violet line right here. It is so bad. It is almost zero on programming task. And then uh, the Lama 30B actually is slightly better than uh, uh, than your both Falcon, and it is looks like Lama 30B is actually significantly better than uh, MPD 30B uh, going by this um, region right here in terms of reading comprehension. But otherwise, uh, the MPD 30B is almost head to head with Lama. And uh, now coming to Hugging Face, all the models are available in Hugging Face. So I just use this one, MPD30B chat, and I just wrote a single instruction to it, write a poem about coming of AI. And within almost one and a half second, it gave me this entire poem. Now I'm going to also check it for another task uh, of summarization. So I just went into a random uh, site, a random article, and uh, let's just copy uh, almost the entire article. And here in the hugging face, I just say summarize the below text and just paste your entire text and submit. And let's see. Uh, yeah, it almost instantly uh, started making the summarization. And it summarized in a single sentence actually. And of course, uh, this article right here that was about uh, deep faking it, uh, where uh, there's some defect technology being used on Joe Biden. And uh, the article is about that. And uh, this summarization. Uh, just said that what article said and I'm pretty much happy with the summarization of course it's a little bit shorter than I was expecting but still it's okay so that's about hugging phase uh, space and you can actually download this model by going into the files and uh, uh, files tab in hugging face uh, of course the sizes are huge uh, but that's uh, that's obviously it's a 30b model so coming back to the blog, another thing I want to mention is their uh, uh, inferencing uh, performance, some of the data they have given. It's really uh, promising. So what they're saying is that uh, it, it is a 4x, 4 time cost savings compared to OpenAI's DaVinci, uh, both for MPT30B instruct and MPT7B instruct. And if you are using Mosaic, uh, their enterprise edition uh, in their uh, cloud platform, then for inferencing, it will be a uh, 15 times cost savings for the 30B model uh, versus OpenAI's fine-tuned DaVinci. Uh, and the same applies for uh, this one, 15x cost savings for MPT7B model. So uh, there's some important information yeah, right here. So they're talking about how much time and money does it take to train custom MPT-30B models. Let's start with the base model. In table 4, we show the times and cost to pre-train MPT-30B from scratch. So this table right here, what we see is the total cost if you train the entire model from scratch. So they trained with uh, 512 840 GB GPU uh, for 29 days almost for 1 trillion token and that will cost you $871,000 and if you do that with H100, 512 H100 which is 80 GB GPU, it will be slightly less, $714,000 but also the days are much much smaller. And uh, so this is the um, from scratch training. So I'm assuming that will be a rare case uh, that you will um, do a uh, entire model training. That will be a very, very rare case uh, as of now in the world. And what mostly you as a corporate user or consumer will be interested about is this fine tuning. So this is where you take the pre-trained model and then fine tune it for your own data. So there, uh, with 16800 GPU, you can fine-tune MPD30B for 22 hours at a cost of only $871. So that's very reasonable. And if you use H100, the cost will be even less, $714, and the time will be almost less than half, 8, eight hours or 9 hours. Uh, that's actually pretty huge. I mean, very, very reasonable, actually. 
So basically what you are doing here, you have a data set of 1 billion tokens and you take, uh, you fine tune the entire 30B model on your 1 billion token data set. And that's the only cost you will bear and you will have a fully fine tuned trained model on your data. So overall, I think it's a great development. Uh, it's a massive achievement for the open source world given it's a commercial use is allowed on this model. And uh, also another thing is that all this discussion that we did uh, till now is a standard training of 16 bit or 8 bit. But you can apply QLoRa that is 4 bit quantization and then your cost and overall training time will be much much lower. And actually I already saw in Twitter that some people are uh, have already started doing QLoRa uh, training on fine tuning training on these MPD30B and they have published their model in Hugging Face. You can actually go and check that out. So yeah, it's a great development. We are very, um, uh, I'm expecting that we will see many more fine tuned model over the uh, coming days. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.